Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here and today I wanted to show you guys my shelf. Yeah, nobody really asked me about my shelf, but I figured I would show you guys my shelf anyways. Basically, most of the stuff on these these two shelves are cameras, as you guys know. Um, but there's also K-pop stuff and there's film on there and whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. Alrighty guys, so the first shelf that we are gonna be looking at is the top shelf. Um, this is mainly my K-pop shelf, so I keep all of my K-pop stuff in here. Well, most of it, not all of it. But regardless, this is my prized treasures, treasures, treasures. Um, this is Big Bang's mini fourth mini album. This is their Tonight album. So at the time, I was in graphic design class in high school, and I made a little stack of like post-it notes, you can say, and with this skull design on it, it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you to you guys if I can find it. I still have it somewhere though. Um, this is my Good Boy album. I got it for Christmas, I want to say in 2000 and... Crap, I don't even know. 2013? I don't, I don't remember. Whenever this, this album came out. Oh yeah, 2014. So yeah, this is the album. I got this for my friend. She got it for me for Christmas. I think it was for Secret Santa or something. She got this in Hong Kong. I've opened it, obviously, but I've just left it in its wrapping. So for the CD in here, I haven't even listened to the CD because uh, I already know Good Boy, the song. <laughs> I really don't need to listen to it on the CD. Next album we have is Taeyang's Rise album. This is his Eyes, Nose, Lips album. I got this from my dad when he was in in Korea. So he, I asked him to get this album for me. And he told me, it was really funny, he was like, I was like the only one in the CD store. But anyways, I think a lot of people listen to it digitally now. So the album at that time was already released for like two or three months. I still have the plastic packaging on the outside because I've only opened it on the, outside, on the inside like this. I'm so weird with packaging for some reason, but yeah, that's my Rise album. The next one that I have is Big Bang's monster album this is their special edition still alive album and let me tell you this album i really like this album especially monster and i really like the intro and i'm so glad they did an extended version for the intro um called still alive so yeah i really like that one so this is big bang stand-up album they have their song haru haru on there as i think a lot of you guys might know them for haru haru but it's actually Lies that made them really popular in Korea. But I think Haru Haru made them popular um, internationally. But this one was pretty hard to get. I had to wait for a pretty long time to get that one. So is this one. For some reason, these two albums were kind of hard to get. So this is Big Bang's third mini album. Next album we have is Big Bang's second album. This Yeah, this is their second album that has... Um, the remix version of Haru Haru, and there was also Sunset Glow. Uh, yeah, this one, I really like this cover actually, it's really cool. I think I was in like 8th or ninth grade when this came out, so yeah, I was like in 8th, or yeah, probably ninth grade because it was released in November. Cool, cool, cool. This is Blackpink's album. You guys have seen me unwrap this. I don't think I've even listened to the CD, I just, I just have it. But here's that. So I listened to the whole album mainly on Spotify anyways. And then here is G-Dragon's One of a Kind album. Yes sir, I'm one of a kind. Yeah, I really like this album. I really like this design specifically. So that's why I chose this one. There was like another one. I think there was like a silver one or rose gold one. I can't remember. Is this the rose gold one? Here's that. And here's that. And then here are my camera so you guys have probably seen these guys already in my camera film camera collection I'll put it in the cards somewhere um, you guys have seen this guy you guys have seen this Lomography camera you guys haven't seen this guy he's newer um, newer not that new but I haven't included him in that video the other video second shelf we have here is mainly my um, point and shoots and Lomography camera. Well, actually there's like two instant cameras in the front But first thing we have is the Hoga 120s 
Then we have the Kanaka C35 EFP. Then we have my Diana Mini right here. This one you guys have not seen. This is the Olympus Infinity. Uh, this is, I think this is an older version of the Infinity Stylus. But yeah, that camera right there is pretty cool. I really like that camera. And this is my Canon EOS M10. I used this one to film when I was in um, Asia. Then this is my Lomography Color Splash. So basically, this guy's really fun. This flash right here has all these different, all these different um, like colors you can switch the flash to. It's pretty cool. And this is just a case. It's all white all over, and it's just a really unique camera. Yeah, I really like that guy. That was pretty fun. Uh, this one is the Holga GCFN 120 film camera. I have the instant back on the back still. I have not taken it off yet. I really want to figure out how to use this camera, uh, this camera, this instant back again. So that's why I still have it there. But yeah, it's still chilling there. Next, we have all of my test films that I have right here. These are from like vintage cameras that I really don't don't use. I, well, I, why would I use like used film? You know. So I'll leave it here so I can test out other cameras. Here's another one. Plus, they look kind of cool, you know? Oh, and these are batteries. These batteries don't work. This one needs to be recharged. Next, these are all of the Polaroid films that I've used. Well, not including these Instax ones. Actually, I don't have my Instax cartridges here because I just have so many of those. I think I just recycle them. But then there's these two 600 ones right here. And, okay, this is my one step. The original one step, the poured one step, the first one that does not have a battery. This one is the OG of all Polaroids. Right here, this is my Lomography La Sardina, the DIY version. So basically for the DIY version, it comes with a clear plate in the front and you can put like a picture or something, a design or whatever. Yeah, this one's a pretty cool camera. I really like that one. Oh, or you can also draw on it. I don't want to draw mine. I like mine white. It's really pretty. So this is the Instax Mini 70. You guys all know that I've taken many, many pictures with that one. Next portion we have is this portion right here. So first thing we have here, this is also a compact camera. This is my prized possession because it still has the box and everything. This right here is the Fuji film. This is a panoramic camera. This is the Fujifilm Cardia Super 28WP. I really like this camera. It's just, it feels so nice in the hand and it's just so clean and it's, I don't think the person even used it that much, but it's a really, really, really nice camera. It's my prized possession. I keep it in here. It also comes with the original battery that this camera came with so that makes it just so much more special but I don't use this battery because I just don't want to waste it you know so yeah that is the Super 28 Cardia that comes with the original box next camera that we have is this Polaroid Spectra film camera as some of you guys might know the Spectra film is all sold out and they're currently working on it so that's what I've been told by one of you guys so that's what I know um, but this camera right here is sitting here until I can get film for it. This one as well. This is also the Polaroid Spectra camera. What's cool about this guy is that it comes with the original box. But I just want to show you guys how this camera works. Wait, where is the button? Okay, it's right here. So they ha it has a button on the side. When you push that, this thing pops out. And if you have film on here, this should boost up and say it's like charging or whatever and yeah it's pretty cool I think you can have a lot of fun with this one this one even has like a self timer and autofocus and stuff like that so until I can get film for this this will still be sitting on my shelf the hard box case for it is right here pretty cool 
This one doesn't come with a hard box case, it just came like this. Okay, this camera right here. This is my favorite camera from Fujifilm. This is the Instax Wide 300. I love this camera, this is my holy grail. I go to this camera whenever I need good pictures and I want clarity and I want saturation and it's just, it's just a great camera. I really like that camera. This camera right here is, I believe this is the Polaroid button, but it's been colored yellow, but you guys have seen this in my film collection, so film camera collection. This is the Polaroid One Step 2, as you guys know, and this is the Polaroid 600 talking camera. I've talked about that one too. So these are my films and and disposable cameras. So I got two disposable camera right here. Actually, actually, there's there's this one too. Yeah, this is also a disposable camera. This is just Walgreens film, regular Walgreens film. Nothing special about it. And this is Kodak Ultramax films. These are just really cheap films. Okay, this is the Ilford HP5 Plus uh, 120 film. This is the 120 film. I believe this is the black and white film. This is the Ilford Delta 400 and also black and white film, but this is for the 35 millimeter cameras. So this is my black and white Fujifilm film right here. I have, oh my gosh, I'm breaking everything. Ooh. This is Fujifilm candy frame film right here. And then Fujifilm, the, 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 the air mail, whatever this is called. This one's cute for like traveling and whatever, you know? Okay, that was, oh, cool. I'm dropping everything. I'm dropping everything. Okay, so this is another disposable camera. This is Polaroid Original 600 film. This is the rainbow film, I believe. Yeah, it's their, it's their rainbow frame film. This is a collaboration with Urban Outfitters. I don't think they sell this one anymore. This is Polaroid Originals black and white film. You know, I'm really hesitant about black and white film for some reason, uh, especially black and white instant film. I'm not sure, but I'll use that sometime. I don't know when. These are just my two camera bags. Yep, oh, whoa, I got stuff in here. Okay, well this is, oh this is my Instax wide film right here and this is my Instax mini film. I got more Instax wide film over here. There's two of them here. I think this is just an empty box. Yeah, that's just an empty box. But yep, cool, cool. Okay, so the next part we are gonna show is this other shelf that I have. Um, this shelf right here can really doesn't have much inside. It's just mainly what's on top of it. Um, so what I have here is this wired metal thingy that I got from Ikea and I hang a lot of the pictures that I like on here. Um, there's more behind there, but it's covered. This right here, I don't know if you guys know BTS, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know BTS. Um, BTS is a Korean boy band. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so many fandoms hitting at me for liking so many groups, but yeah, I'm, I'm a... I'm a multi-fandom type of person, okay? I like Big Bang. Big Bang is like my all-time favorite. Then I also like BTS. I also like EXO. Um, who else do I like? Uh, that's out right now. I really like Blackpink. Um, I also love 21, but 21 disbanded. And I'm also a Blackjack. I really like, I really like 21. I love Dara. I watch her vlogs. Okay, I'm going too much in depth with this. Anyway, so this right here, as you guys know or m might not know, but this is a bag. <laughs> this is a bag of BTS's collaboration with Line. And this character right here, Cookie, is a character for Jungkook. See, it says right here, Big Hit times Line Friends. And Line is a, like a talking app, if you guys, like a chatting app. If you guys don't know what that is, you guys might know Kakao Talk. Kakao Talk actually has their own Jungkook's character, and then on the back we have Koya, which is RM's character. Um, yeah, really cute bag. What my friend got in Korea for me was this phone ring. 
This is such a cute phone ring. I really like Jungkook and the fact that his character is pink makes everything just so much better. But yeah, thank you Alina for getting me this in Korea. We have on here is my two Polaroid One Step camera boxes. This is the One Step 2, this is the One Step Plus. And then we got all of my compact cameras. Right here we have the Minolta Freedom Vista G D, no, GD, <laughs> oh my god. I wish it was called GD, but it's called QD. Next camera I have is this Pentax. It is the PC35AF. So I'm assuming AF stands for autofocus. Oh, duh, it says right there, autofocus. If you guys have ever held one, this is so freaking sturdy and heavy. It's not like made of plastic like other, other cameras. This one is actually like, made out of metal. Can you guys see the scratches and stuff? Yeah, this is like metal. So how you do, how you turn it on is by pushing this button right there and it turns it on. And how you use the flash is by pushing that up right here on the bottom and it pushes your flash up. Really nice camera. Um, online there was like even like a camouflage version, you know. This is the Minolta Hymatic 7. Very heavy camera. This was like made in the 60s or 70s, I believe. Very, very old, heavy camera. So the next camera I have right here is the Olympus Infinity Stylus. You guys have seen me use this camera before. No, not use. You guys have seen this camera before in my Olympus Infinity Stylus camera. All right, guys, if you guys are, if you guys are hearing like snoring, whatever, it's because Jack is in here. Jack, Jack follows me everywhere. Hi, Jack. I love you. I love you. Take your hand. Okay. Yeah. That's Jackson. Next camera I have is the Yashica AW Mini AF. So AF also means autofocus. But what's so cool about this camera? Hold on. So that's how you turn it on. I don't have a battery in there right now. How you use it is there is this um, uh, waste fine waste find waste view finder yes this is called a waste viewfinder so if your subject is really low and there's no way for you to look through this viewfinder you can look through the waste the waste viewfinder right here so the reason why i have this rubber band on here is because this battery cap broke off it was already broken when i got this camera so it's been like this i've i haven't really fixed it yet i put something here but um i put some shoe glue to see if it would stick onto the camera but yeah it, didn't really, it didn't really work. Next camera I have is this Kodak Breeze. I just really like this camera because it's white. I don't have a white camera. Most of my cameras are like black and gray and metal, you know, but this is white, so cool. Yes, there's currently film on here and I believe the person who had it before me took eight exposures already. There is 24 exposures in this roll, so I think I might just continue taking pictures on it. We'll see whatever picture comes out. Maybe this person killed somebody and there's dead people pictures, who knows? But anyways, there is this camera right here. This is the Ricoh FF7. Yeah, nothing to say much about this camera. It's a pretty cool camera. And then I have the Nikon Fun Touch 5. Yeah, I don't know who that is. That is just, I, yeah. I just got this camera like this. I have no idea who this camera was. But yeah, it's just a regular, regular, regular camera. Okay, down here we have these, this cork, this cork uh, bulletin board thingy that I need to hang up. Right here I have my CR123A batteries. And then this is my case for my camera if, I, if I'm going out and I don't want my camera to get ruined. I take this, my yellow Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 camera. I really like this camera, it's so freaking cute. Yes, it has a yellow case, just to match it. And then, here is my autograph bear. Eventually, I wanna get him covered in all of my K-pop artists' signatures, and if I ever see like a, like a, like an actor or actress, or somebody, you know, I want them to sign that too. But yeah, he's just just sitting here right now, just naked without any signature. Really cute bear though. Alrighty, so looking on this side, we have 
all of my other cameras and also camera bags and film. Okay, so the first thing we have right here is a film development canister. Uh, I think this is for cut film. I really plan on developing my own film in the future. So that's why I have this film canister right here. But um, I need to do more research on that before I start doing it. But then we have this camera right here, which is a broken, Not, it's not really broken. There's just like a shadow when you take a picture. Um, I can fix that, but I'm, I've just been so busy. I, I haven't really been able to open this camera up. But um, this is the Instax Mini 8 right here. There's that one. Okay, this is the Shigaru that I used to fix the Instax Mini 70. And this is some um, Statler markers that I have. This is a writing, this is a notepad. <laughs> Okay, and then what I have here is the Fujifilm SQ6 that I leave on this side because there's no room on the other side. And this is the One Step Plus that I also leave on this side because there's no room on the other side. And then what we have here is all the films that I've been taking in the recent months. Um, they're just laying down right here because I really don't know what to do with them right now. This one, this was actually taken last year, but all the other ones have been more recent. And I just don't know what to do with them right now. Um, I'm supposed to put them in my photo album, but I don't know if that's a really good way to store them. But for now, they're sitting here. I know this isn't even a good way to store them. Like, I know, I know. Don't shame me on that. I know it's not a good way to store them, but I just haven't thought of a way to do it yet. So I'm leaving them here like this for now. And then the remaining shelves are just like my camera bag shelf. So this is one camera bag. This one you can get on Amazon. Pretty basic. You can also get this one on Amazon as well. Um, this one was not that expensive. I can't remember how much, but it's on Amazon. This one is just an old vintage Nikon camera bag. Um, I personally don't own anything Nikon, but I really like this design for some strange reason. It just was like it screamed vintage to me, and it screamed like, I don't know, it, it just looked pretty cool. So I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just get this. But yeah, there's that one. Yep, so that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to show you guys. Alrighty guys, that is it for my shelf tour, and I hope that you guys did enjoy watching it. And I hope you guys like my hair, because this hair right here is inspired by Dylan Wing's uh, pineapple hair from Meteor Garden. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, it's like, like you know how he has like this center part that's corn road and then or something like that, and he's like, or it's like twisted with gel or something. I have no idea, but it's like a really cute style. And then he ties it up right here. Well, I'm a girl, so I have to make it more feminine. So I just pulled it up like this and did like a really, really, really high ponytail right here. Yeah, so that's my uh, Dylan Wang's Meteor Garden hair inspiration right here. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video about my shelf. I know that nobody asked me about it, but yeah, I thought I should share what's on my shelf with you guys. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you guys like this video, please do give it a like. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!